It's not that your interpretation is correct, that African states do not want to condemn Russia. We do not want to be part of your foreign policy. We do not want you to use us. We want to be free to determine for ourselves whether we condemn or not condemn and when we will condemn. The real thinkers of Europe, those who really created the European Union, were very alert to a divided world in the 60s and saw the dangers after the Second World War that Europe had to develop and it had to have partners, sources of raw materials, minerals, to be able to continue its industrialization process. And they were very creative in creating Yaoundé and the Lome Convention, ensuring preferences ensuring subsidies of agricultural products and minerals because they knew that they were gaining huge benefit from value added. And as a result, they wanted to share that profit so that we will also benefit from that from develop. So it was a sharing basis, not the narrow nationalist sentiments thinking that you are taking European tax money and giving it to ACP states. Those people were ingenious. They calculated, they saw that Europe was gaining from our economies and it was Europe also to give back. But that mentality is disappearing with this new generation. I don't know how creative the new generation is, but they need to reinvent their cooperation strategies. We live in a world where, honorable president, we first started a revolution, what you call the national revolution of states becoming sovereign. The national revolution led to the sovereignty of states, but we had strong leaders who did not really involve the people. And a new revolution had to be taken, a revolution for the sovereignty of people. We started that process. Just look at our ECOWAS. We came to a point where we were even controlling the executive with two term limits. There were only two countries left before this new evolution of, of coup d'etat, where there were time limits. I belong to a generation which fought for change. Essentially, what I'm emphasizing is that all of us must have a heart that beat in unison with the heartbeat of the people of the world. All of us must feel the suffering of the world. All of us must be allowed to speak conscience. What we must avoid is Europe thinking that we are going to be its sphere of influence. There are no superpowers, my last word. Otherwise, Afghanistan will not be left to those who are controlling it today if America was a superpower. There are no superpowers. That's why Syria is what it is now today, a country where the people cannot look at Iraq, look at all the world. There are no superpowers. China, Taiwan. We should abandon the superpower ideology. We should abandon spheres of influence. We should begin a cooperation of equality, knowing that in all parts of the globe, there are people of conscience but they are not yet in power. How do we empower all those people so that we rid this world of tyrants, people who do not feel the suffering of people who do not need to change the world? It's not that your interpretation is correct, that African states do not want to condemn Russia. We do not want to be part of your foreign policy. We do not want you to use us. We want to be free to determine for ourselves whether we condemn or not condemn and when we will condemn. So it is important for you to change your mentality that we need to understand that we are all equal and sometimes we are even more advanced than you in thinking of what should be done about the world. Thank you very much.